We're here not at the Leisure Centre, but the FIDF Hall with the football team who seem to have more to do than just kicking around the football. Here, the football team complete their second half of training for fitness through a workout circuit, which I deeply regret signing up to. And we begin the first exercise I had to do, which was mountain climbers. A very enthusiastic attempt, but perhaps with more work needed on the technique. Moving on to press ups, and I have to say, I was quite impressed with my performance. Next we had step ups, it was definitely starting to take a toll on me here. Then reverse pull ups, nothing to see here. Yeah, not sure what's meant to be happening at this point. Lastly, burpees, my absolute weak point in the realm of exercise. And with that first painful round done, I spoke to one of the players to see how they are coping with the preparation for the Island Games. Tell me a little bit about, you know, most people think you're just going on a, on a pitch to kick a ball around and have a bit of fun, but obviously that's quite a lot of technical work that you've been doing. How does that also prepare your body for, for the game? Yeah, exactly. So, um, well, you'll notice a lot of the work today centred around core and legs. So those are very important for the dynamic kind of movements we're doing on the football pitch. So we're getting in two to three sessions a week before we play on the weekends just to get those sort of uh, explosive movements ready for game time. And we're, well, more than less than 100 days away from the Island Games now. Yeah. How are you feeling? So sort of, I guess, mentally as well as physically? Yeah, um, excited. It's uh, the last time I played was in uh, 2017 in Gotland. So obviously there's been a, a few missed opportunities because of COVID and we didn't have football in Gibraltar. So very much ready to get back into the competitive uh, football, which you don't always get to play so much down here. But it'd be exciting to go and play against some of the some of the big boys away in Guernsey. Yeah, definitely. And well, the best of luck anyway. Yeah, Thanks. cheers. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. <laughs> Sadly for me, I hadn't quite finished yet. I think I'm doing quite all right, but um, yeah, I don't know how these guys behind me do it without just you know, effortlessly, so uh, we'll see how I go for the next one. Finally done, and I won't ever be doing that again, but with the last ounce of energy left, I caught up with team manager Troy Bowles. Thanks very much Troy for giving us, well giving me a chance <laughs> to go around and, um, on that circuit. Really tough. How do you, yeah, keep the guys kind of motivated for that? Um, I guess the games themselves are enough motivation. They, I think they understand how fit we've got to be to compete. We're going into groups, well our group in particular, with nations much more experienced and bigger than us, so our best way of having a chance of really being at our best is to be as fit as we can be, so the lads understand that and yeah, they're, they're putting the work in in the circuits to get there. And what do you think this experience will sort of mean for them, what, what, even if, you know, they go to the games and perhaps they don't do as well or they do really well, what is it that you think that sort of they'll learn about themselves or what, it, what yeah, they'll teach them? They'll learn a lot, I mean it's because we're so isolated in all sport, but again, especially in football, um, you tend to only play against people you know. So playing against people you don't know for starters is a whole new experience. Playing in a tournament, never done that before. It's gonna be I think, four games in five days, um, which even at professional level, that's, that's pretty hard going. Well, it doesn't happen at professional level, basically. They, they wouldn't do it. Um, so it's, yeah, at their age, they've got four, five, some of them even six island games ahead of them. So. It's just that base level of understanding what it's all about and the experience. Well, 
Well, that was a tremendous workout. I think that's more than enough for me today, but best of luck for the football team. Time for me to have a nice bath. Thank you, thanks very much, bye. <laughs>